Hello everyone, this is Calvin, Professor C here. So, if you're new to this channel, this channel is all about teaching new mortgage agents how to make more money and faster. Now, I have uh, many different training material. You are watching our free YouTube channel. Um, but if you want more deep dive, enhanced knowledge, into the mortgage industry and become a superstar in the mortgage industry you can go to this website well this one mortgagehackercanada.com i have live workshop i have digital course so you can learn at your own pace you can search my book which is here here on um, amazon new mortgage agent handbook as well as some other, um, uh, we have a membership site that we can meet li live weekly. Anyway, um, I hope you enjoy this video. Today we are going to talk about Phylogics again, specifically because a lot of my students said that, hey Calvin, I watched your YouTube uh, on how to input a deal in Phylogics, it is very helpful every time, you know, when I'm new, every time I do a new application, I actually go back to your video and watch it uh, and actually pause the video and then I type something and then I pay and then I type something, I pause, something like that. But the video I, which I had, uh, which I will link it somewhere up there, okay, is only for a purchase transaction. And a lot of you ask me, hey, can you show us how to do a refinance transaction? So today I'm going to show you how to do a mortgage application in Phylogix for a refinance. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So as you can see, this is Phylogix. We are going to do, actually, let me try to zoom in a little bit because I remember last time the video, the screen is a little bit small. So let's try to zoom in a little bit. So we're doing the approval. This time we're going to choose refinance, continue. So let's assume Make it simple, let's assume this is an application for a single person. Let's do Mr. Dave Engineer. If you guys have been in my workshop or my digital course, you know I love Mr. Dave Engineer. You have heard of him. So, birthday, social insurance, he is single, his cell phone is very easy to remember, his email is also easy to remember. He has no dependent, it's not an existing client, it's not a first time home buyer, he is going to Provide me with a driver license, Canada, driver license number, is living in 22, he has lived there for three years, he owns it because we are doing a refinance. <coughs> we are basically, he owns one, only one house and we are doing a refinance for him. So he works for IBM. Again, if you have been into my workshop or digital course, you know that he is an engineer in IBM. He is a professional. He is in the high tech field. He earned a salary of how much? 120,000. Has no other income, he has some saving. 
he has the will leave the liability there he probably basically have no liability and the two story book it is worth one million dollars he bought it eight hundred thousand dollars a couple of years ago he paid six thousand dollars property tax it's not a condo it's a hundred dollars heat he is paid he has a balance of six hundred thousand dollars right now he is paying let's say twenty uh, three thousand dollars now it is maturing next week the fixed rate term let's say it is from CIBC originally mortgage amount is 650 okay we have finished this part of the thing right this part so now we click subject property on the left hand side we wait for them to load so zoom in the screen a little bit they already populate the subject property information there is lot one block 65 and one two three four let's say mark mark um. so we finance there's no mls it's an existing house it's a detached home free house 2000 square feet 4000 square feet on the lot Heat is forced air, water is municipal, it's only a one unit, two story, five years old, single garage property. There's no condo fee whatsoever, it's now rental. On the down payment thing, on your if you're doing a refinance, put existing equity. right and just basically put the equity in there so closing let's say it is closing next week purpose is refinance the existing mortgage so you want to move that mortgage from CIBC to let's say TD something like that so you can let's just say 1.6 rate this variable rate close term mortgage semi-annually five years 30 years 4.79 still 4.79 let's recalculate that zoom out right so basically you can see that the TDSR is 37.27 right then next step you go to click the credit bureau basically we have just done the first part here here then afterward we have done this part then now you request the credit bureau and after that after you have requested a credit bureau your population your liability should automatically the next step you should do is come back to the liability you should see that it is populated already then you just go back to lender submit choose td bank put in your loan logs hit submit and that's it okay so hopefully that gives you a very um, hopefully that gives you a, <clears throat> a very quick very uh, easy very fast um, 
update on how you input a deal that is a refinance deal in Fire Logic. If you want to watch how to input a, a deal with more explanation on a purchase deal, um, click the video at the end, um, somewhere here, saying the Fire Logic one, and you can watch there. I will give you a little bit more detail on that. Um, this one is a is a is an update version, so I assume that you have watched that one. If you have not, go watch it again. Hopefully, you know you learn something today. And if you do, do check out my website. Check out some of my other training material. I want to see you in my workshop or digital course. Okay, so I will see you soon.